Hey guys, this is Matt Rose, and this is the channel Wig With. Uh, this is Monday, July 20th, 2020. Uh, so, today's video is going to be the push for privatization. Uh, if you could please like, share, and subscribe to this channel, it really helped me out. Just starting out, so any uh, little push just gets me over the edge here. Gets this information out to more people. Uh, so the big thing that I'm going to go over here is Bill 30. Uh, that is the tearing up of the master agreement with the uh, Alberta doctors. It removes the right to arbitration and it overrides the funding scheme. Uh, so a recent survey by the Alberta Medical Association found there is going to be a massive exodus of doctors over this. 42% uh, of doctors are already saying they're planning on leaving. 87% said that they would have to make changes to the practice in order to keep practicing in Alberta. So in my other video, I did show how uh, David Shepard had said 55 doctors have not renewed their license, uh, 32 retired, plus 12 voluntarily left registries this month or this year. So. That is a lot of doctors already leaving the province. We need to definitely look into uh, why Tyler Shandro thinks that he can just treat the doctors in this province like this. Because it is the rural communities, of course, that are going to suffer. They're going to be hit the hardest after Bill 30. Um, Tyler Shandro is trying to insist that they stay. He wrote a letter to the CPSA, the Canadian... Um, They are the Canadian Physicians and the College of Physicians and Surgeons in Alberta. So, you know, he's trying to tell them that they have to get their own replacement. That they can't leave this province until they have a replacement already lined up. Which, if you're closing your business doors because you can't afford to operate anymore, then I don't know. You don't exactly go and find your replacement you pretty much go and you know try and salvage whatever amount of career you have left and uh, so with Tyler Shandro insisting that uh, NDP health critic is uh, calling this uh, unconstitutional amount of power and a desperate response to a crisis that he Tyler Shandro himself helped create so Shepard went on to say he's torn up the doctor's contract repeatedly attacked them on social media and now he's created this intoxic environment for them he basically wants to imprison doctors uh, so this is all happening during a pandemic uh, we got to ask ourselves why this uh, why this whole system's underfunded you know is this a move to privatize our health care because that's pretty much what it's looking like leave a comment below you know let me know what you think about it let me know if you've witnessed private health care moving into your city or town. Potentially it's already happened, you know, like this is this is all going over things that have been going on since February. So uh, the Alberta Medical Association replied back to Chandro, uh, simply put, the relationship between physicians and the Ministry of Health has never been this poor. The release of the letter to the College of Physicians and Surgeons question your actions are truly motivated by the public good or rather your agenda to consolidate your own control over how medicine is practiced in this province, which of course will lead to legal implications requiring doctors to find their own replacement. And this is a repugnant and counterproductive method, which is all out of that letter that was hopefully on Tyler Shandro's desk because uh, this is privatization coming to Alberta and we definitely need to stop and wonder where all of our tax dollars went that we've been paying into the system for so long and we've been getting nothing but underfunded uh, health care wait times increased drastically and I know during the pandemic a lot of people couldn't get to their surgery in time and some people died so 
this is a serious issue and we need to get right on board with these letters on the doctor's side we need to find out go talk to your local doctor um, ask them like what do they need because we need doctors in Alberta we need doctors during a pandemic you know this has been Wig With. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, have a great day. Bye now.